is Sunday, September 12th, 2021. It's 6.48 a.m. and about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. We are at Forest Park, home of the 1904 World's Fair and what they refer to as the heart of St. Louis. It's over 1,300 acres. Central Park in New York is just over 800 acres. So this is a very large uh, park with a lot of attractions. Here you see this electrical outlet here. Uh, there was representing the innovation in electricity for the World's Fair. It was here. There you see the apotheosis of St. Louis in all his glory at his peak, uh, our namesake. And this is the St. Louis Art Museum. It's Beaux-Arts architecture uh, designed by Cass Gilbert. He also did the St. Louis Central Library uh, as well as the Woolworth Building in New York and the United States Supreme Court Building. This is a sculpture by Louis Sengontens. And over here there's a, another sculpture. This one's by Daniel Chester French. He was a very, very famous sculptor. And he did the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. as well. As well as he did a, Daniel Chester French did an Ameri the America War and America at Peace that you may know from the uh, old post office and U.S. Custom House uh, in downtown St. Louis, which is also a, a National Historic Landmark. So we're here today to see these flags of valor. There's about 7,500 flags. There's St. Louis there. the apotheosis of St. Louis. So there's 7,500 flags here, uh, roughly, and uh, this represents all of our military members who have been killed since September 11, 2001, over the last 20 years, as well as over 400 first responders who died on that day as well. And it's absolutely immense. It's really unbelievable. And, uh, they sacrificed everything to give us all the freedoms that we have to be able to do all the things that we love to do. It's all because of them. Uh, they said if, uh, if you walked all these rows, you'd walk about 11 and a half miles. So this is uh, Ard Hill, is what they call this here in front of the St. Louis Art Museum and uh, uh, the big tradition in the winter here in St. Louis is 
sledding down this hill. That tradition started in about 1905 after the World's Fair. And that's uh, still a popular tradition. Each of these has pictures and dog tags. For our fallen heroes. So it's just uh, really quite amazing. Very, very sad. Unbelievable. These, these represent bodies. And all the freedoms we have, we owe to them. That they fought for us. So that's the Grand Basin down there at the end, that's what they call that. And we're just in the midst of all these flags right now. I mean, it's hard to <laughs> describe even. I mean. And uh, over here on the other side of this walkway, you know, you would think it, I mean, it's kind of a smaller section compared to all this, and as you walk along it, it's, it's just, it's a lot of, a lot of people. This is what I'm talking about over here. Yeah.
He was in the New York Fire Department and died at the World Trade Center. Age 33. And this is what I was talking about before. This is the smaller section you just go on and on the volunteers put all these flags out very proud of St. Louis for having this and down here there's picture boards of civilians, those who died in those buildings and on those planes. I'll show you that. That's right over here. They were also innocent lives lost. along down here I guess and then then I'm gonna go ahead and end this video We'll go to the center area here. This is a good, really good view down here. So kind of behind this, I forgot to mention earlier, is the Grace Taylor Broughton Sculpture Park. That's on the other side of the art museum. Uh, she's the great-granddaughter of, it's named after the great-granddaughter of Jack Taylor, the founder of uh, Enterprise Rent-A-Car. And uh, he was a World War II veteran. And the Taylors are great philanthropists. 
or St. Louis. So that's on the other side there. So this is this is the second take of my first ever video. So it's just uh, just really immense. All the sacrifice. Uh, Okay, so I'll end it here from Forest Park in St. Louis at the Art Museum. This is Flags of Valor 20 years after 9-11.